Okay, so today I'm going to share with you my uh, my January makeup purchase. So, um, I, I found out about this site called TheBeautySampler.com and they sell um, samples of MAC pigments. Now, I went on there to buy MAC's um, pigment in blue-brown because I have the Comfort Zone um, eyeshadow palette here. And it has this color here at the bottom that's supposed to be a dupe for um, Max Blue Brown. So I wanted to compare the two. So I wanted to buy the sample of Max Blue Brown. But with that site, you have to um, put $15 worth of product or merchandise in your cart before you can actually place an order. So I had to buy more pigments, which is fine, but. Uh, yeah, so I'm just going to share with you the ones that I bought, swatch them for you, and all that good stuff. And as far as the site being um, legit, from the reviews that I've seen, it and from people who actually purchased MAC pigments, they said these are legit, so there you go. So, the first one I got was Carp Copper Bean, and I don't know if you can see that. gonna actually open this one up for you so you can see my hands are really slippery so I can't really it's hard for me to open these okay I got it open I gotta be careful because I don't want to drop any but I don't know if you can see that that's copper beam if you can see it Hopefully you can. And that's what I have on my eye today. I'm going to swatch it. And that's Copper Bean. And here's Copper Bean on the back of my hand. And that's without a primer. There's no primer. I didn't wet it or anything. It's just, that's the pigment. The next one I got is Vintage Gold. And I don't know if you can see that again. And this one to me is very, very pretty. It's like a, it's, it's an antique gold, but with like a green undertone to it. And I really, really love this one. There's a bit more in this one because um, they sell them um, by a side by teaspoons. Um, like they sell one fourth teaspoon, half a teaspoon, that kind of stuff. And this one is a, I got a half a teaspoon in this one. And the, the last two that I got too. Those ones I got a half a teaspoon in. And the copper beam I got one fourth of a teaspoon. For one fourth of a teaspoon it's two forty nine, And for a half a teaspoon it's four seventy three or something like that. And as you can see a half a teaspoon is a lot of product. A whole lot of product. So let me swatch that one. It's a lot of product on my finger and all I did was dip it in the top. That is vintage. Vintage gold. Sorry. And that is vintage gold next to copper beam. And I don't know if you can see that green kind of undertone that I was talking about. But that's it. And these are really, really smooth. They're so smooth and silky. And you can see they're super pigmented. So, that kind of makes me think that these really are MAC. Like I said, I've done my research and apparently they, they really are. They're, they're um, authentic. Oh, sorry, I'm opening this one already and I haven't told you what it is. Um, this one is Museum Bronze. I don't know if you can see the name on the back. 
but yeah. This is Museum Bronze. And this is just a nice, like, um, antique kind of bronze color. It's so gorgeous. And I, like I said, I got a half a teaspoon in this one. Here's a swatch of Museum Bronze. And I'm going to swatch it on the back of my hand. And there's Museum Bronze. And the last one I got, which is the main reason why I even went onto that website, is um, Blue Brown. Max Blue Brown. And um, I wanted to try this one because uh, Makeup Geek, not only because of the comfort zone and I wanted to um, compare it, but Makeup Geek has one that's called Insomnia. And I really didn't want to purchase the, the Makeup Geek one because um, I wanted to try the actual MAC pigment and I didn't want to pay $21. So. I stumbled upon this site when I when I typed in um, MAC pigment samples so um, yeah I think I showed you this already blue brown and like I said I got a half a teaspoon of this one and this is gonna last me a long time because that's a lot of pigment and I don't use pigments every day I'm not that big of a fan of pigments but I love these I don't own very many. It's just because they're messy. It's not because I don't like pigments. In, in them, they're just messy. I don't like a mess. So, let me swatch this for you. Here's Max Blue Brown. Oh, so pretty. So, so pretty. And so smooth and pigmented. I love this. I can't wait to see how these apply when wet. Well, I kind of already know what pick, um, copper bean looks like apply wet because I did use it today. So, Max Blue Brown. And now I'm going to compare um, the Comfort Zone, pa Comfort Zone Palette Eyeshadow to Max Blue Brown. Let me open this. And it's this color down here on the left side in the corner at the bottom I'm just gonna swatch that and that's so soft too I'm just gonna put it next to Max Blue Brown so the idea is either you can buy the comfort zone palette or you could just go on uh, that that beauty sampler um, site and by the pig, um, the pigment sample, and as you can see, they're pretty darn close. Max is a bit more um, metallic-y, but they're basically the same thing in my book. So yeah, that is my makeup purchase for January. Um, I'm super excited about these. I've already tried the copper beam, so I can't wait to see how the other ones apply and how they look. Um, I kind of already know what Max Blue Brown is going to look like because, like I said, I, I got this palette and I did use this on my eye in a video that I recently did, that I recently put up. I forgot what video it was. It was a haul video. That, this is what I had on my eye in the haul video from the comfort zone. So, yeah. That is it. Beautiful colors. Just want to show you one more time. Go check out that site. It's really inexpensive. I think shipping is two fifty. That's it for shipping. Two fifty. Whatever you order, two fifty. Um, I don't think there's anything over seven dollars on that site. I don't even think there's anything over six dollars on that site. It depends on what size teaspoon sample you get, and you know that determines the cost. So I think if you get a full teaspoon, it's like eight dollars and something. So. Even even so, if you get a full teaspoon, it's a lot of pigment, that's a lot of products, and it's not like you're paying $21 like you would with MAC. So, any, either way, you're, you're getting a deal. So, 
yeah, I just thought I would share that. And thank you for watching. Catch you next time.